welcome back to easterise.com in this lecture we are going to solve a few types of integrals the first type is integral of f of ax plus b dx now uh, if you look at the integration we don't have a function of a variable we have a function of an expression so it's very easy basically uh, we just have to put the expression as another variable this method is known as substitution so if I substitute the whole expression ax plus b here by another variable z then uh, we'll be left with d of x now f of z d of x so we have to replace that d of x in terms of z also so we have to find out the value of d of x in terms of d of z so we'll differentiate both the sides of this equation in the first step so d of z would be equal to d of ax plus b now a and b are two constants and x is a variable so this differentiation will give me a dx replace dx by dz upon a if we replace dx by dz upon a then the integration will reduce to 1 upon a integral of f of z dz now you can easily solve this integration using various formulas available to you let us take a simple example integration of sine of ax plus b dx we know that the integration of sine of x dx is minus cos of x plus c but here we don't have sine of x we have sine of ax plus b so we are gonna replace sine of ax plus b by z so instead of ax plus b we'll replace this whole expression by z which is another variable so we have to find out the value of d of x in terms of d of z so which is d of x is equal to d of z upon a d of x is d of z upon a so the integration reduces to 1 upon a integral of sine of z dz which is equal to minus 1 upon a cos of z because integration of sine of z dz is minus cos of z plus we have to put an integration constant or the constant of the integration so the answer of this problem would be minus 1 upon a cos of ax plus b plus c now if you have uh, an integral which looks like this integral sine to the power mx and cos to the power mx but the power must be less than equal to 4 then you can apply whatever steps I'm gonna you know tell you in the next few uh, seconds but you must remember that this formula whatever whatever steps I'll tell you will only be applicable for m less than equal to 4 now you have to express x sine to the power mx as multiples of sines and cosines by using the following trigonometric identities the first one is sine to the power 2x is equal to 1 minus cos 2x by 2 the second identity is cos square x is equal to 1 plus cos 2x upon 2 sine 3x is 3 sine x minus 4 sine cube x cos 3x is equal to 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x so let us take an example integral of sine cube x multiplied by cos cube x dx it does it does not look like any of these but we know that m is less than equal to 4 because m here is 3 we can reduce this expression sine cube x multiplied by cos cube x by using some trigonometry we can reduce this to our expression so if we take two common we'll get 1 upon 8 outside so we have this uh, known identity to sine x cos x which is equal to sine 2x so we can replace 2 sine x cos x by sine 2x whole cube because we have a whole cube here and we have this constant 1 upon 8 outside which will stay out of the integration because it is a constant in the next step we will replace this whole value from this identity sine 3x is equal to 3 sine x minus 4 sine cube x so instead of x we have 2x here we have to take that part into consideration then we'll get sine cube 2x as 3 sine 2x minus sine 6x divided by 4 now this integration uh, has been reduced and it can be easily solved so this becomes 
integral of 1 upon 32 this 4 comes out so 8, 8 times 4 will give you 32 integral 3 sin 2x minus sin 6x dx which is 1 upon 32 within brackets minus 3 upon 2 cos of 2x plus 1 upon 6 cos of 6x plus the constant of integration. In the next type of integral uh, we are going to solve integrals of type sin mx multiplied by cos nx or cos mx multiplied by cos nx or sin mx multiplied by sin nx or cos mx multiplied by sin nx. You have to use the following trigonometric identities 2 sin a cos b is equal to sin a plus b plus sin a minus b. 2 cos a sin b is equal to sin a plus b minus sin a minus b. 2 cos a cos b is equal to cos a plus b plus cos a minus cos b. And 2 sin a sin b is equal to cos a minus b minus cos a plus b. Let us solve a simple you know example. We have integration over uh, cos of 2x cos of 4x dx. So we can use this one cos 2 cos a cos b would be equal to cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b. So we can replace this whole thing. First of all, you have to take a 2 common outside the integration and a 2 com will come inside the integration. So this thing will reduce to integral of cos of 6x plus cos of 2x. So 4x plus 2x will give you 6x and 4x minus 2x will give you 2x. So now this integration is very easy, you can easily solve it. The answer would be 1 upon 2 multiplied by sin 6x upon 6 plus sin 2x upon 2 plus the constant of integration. Thank you friends, we will solve a few more integration in the coming lectures.